most women bullheadedly ignore that they got the doo-doo touch. And what I mean by that is most women today, especially with the new normal that we are living in now, most women just simply refuse to, you know, accept it learn why it's this way and you know what I'm talking about agenda 21 that's commonly called the new world order they're just kind of like trying to treat it you know like when you're a kid and you're out playing around and stuff like that and you might go down and slide and fall off the monkey bars and you kind of hit and scratch yourself and a little, little bleeding goes away <laughs> A band-aid is put on it. A few days, it heals, and eventually it goes away. See, and that's how they're looking at the new normal, you know. Because they still have chosen to be skanky, deceitful, and most of all, extremely selfish. Yes. Well, they still want to rip you off, take your eyeballs out your head, take the ears off your head, take your nose off, mm, cut your lips off too. Mm, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, take your tongue off, cut it all off, and put it in their treasure chest, and they're going about their business and leave you with nothing. And try to program you to believe that it's actually okay that that's supposed to be done to you. But now, She's getting to the point now where, thanks to the internet for us, it's where we're instantly highly educated on their skanky ways. And now she has the doo-doo touch. Yes, she does, because most women are in debt. Mm-hmm. Especially ones over 30. Yep. Oh, yeah. Young ones, too, but the ones over 30, in debt, uh, got a bunch of kids by different fathers, and... She, uh, she's overweight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And mind you, these are strangers. I don't, I don't know none of them. Like I said, it's the same little formula that they've been using since the lockdown. First, it was to see if you had the coronavirus. Then, if you look like you didn't have it. Then, if you didn't look worried. Then, she would come up on you. And I'm just like, uh, no, I'm not interested. You know, and the thing is, their ways, their insides, their evil ways are so toxic that really their outside beauty really doesn't mean anything anymore. It doesn't. It really, really doesn't. And that is something that they are not going to be able to handle too well because that was her greatest weapon, her beauty. But she's so skanktified and so evil and so extremely selfish and uh, newly speaking, dumb. Um, Yeah, guys are like, oh, uh, okay, all right. Hey, look, I tell you what, I'll leave. See, and then that's when the chasing starts. It's a more darker version for my viewers that remember the late Benny Hill may rest in peace. The comedian, you remember his show? You know, they'd be chasing after, you know, somebody be chasing after him and his bald head friend. Okay, this is a darker version. She is going to start resorting to violence because, you know, women cannot handle rejection, even though if they did everything possible for them to encounter such. She still believes that she's um, um, not responsible for her actions. And see, with the New World Order being present, okay, all of that, you know, is a kick to the side. Right. See, before the lockdown, she actually could get away with a lot of the shit she was doing for a long time. But see, now the New World Order is here. The lockdown, restrictions, social distancing, wearing a mask. Yeah. And many other things that come along with it. Oh, yeah. And she's done because she don't want to snap out of and accept the new world order. Yeah. And guys are like, well, uh, okay, I don't have to like put up with you and your bullshit anymore. 
Yeah, so you could take it and uh, shove it up your ass. Yeah, uh, shove it, shove it, shove it. Shove, 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 yeah, step on, bitch. Yeah, and uh, she's getting pretty upset. I figure the ass whoopings, at least for me, are getting closer. You know that hit song by the Atlanta Star called "Closer and Close." Speed it up, put it on seventy-eight. That's about how fast it's getting for me. Because, like I said, with them, I'm like, listen. Um, I'm not interested in you. You're beautiful. And of course, I would always love to fuck you. But other than that, hey, you know, if we don't do that, that's cool, too. You know, because it really isn't so much of enjoying being in the presence of a pretty woman. That's not the problem. The problem is she's skanky. And she's always scheming for her own personal gain. It has nothing to do with helping you. And uh, it's like, well, you know, I, I, I like being single. I, I really do. And she's like, no, you're just afraid to deal with a real woman of the modern age. Honey, if that's what you, and I'm not your honey till you buy me something to eat. I'm like, well, hey, you're definitely not my honey because I'm not buying you nothing to eat because you're selfish, you're skanky, you're undesirable, you're undateable. And this is not the way that it should be. It, it, it isn't and they don't care about that but when you when they, when they don't get their way with you and mind you you don't know this person this is a stranger she wants to take and bop you upside your head remember that song make me bop until i drop <laughs> just do it to me all night long yeah and i'm like okay we don't even know each other's name oh and another thing i'm noticing about them too is when they see that you are not interested Mind you, this is a stranger. Uh, she totally violates you by ignoring your social destiny. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, this is really kinky and crazy. And mind you, a lot of businesses are going out of business and they're not going to open back up anymore. And uh, Michigan doing a lousy job at social distancing yes and of course this is not to the ones that are here in michigan that is practicing social distancing kudos to you not talking about you but it's a lot of them because i see it that are not practicing social distancing so that's going to make it a lot worse but all i'm saying is is that the situation with most women not taking their college education and starting a business you can still start a business today yes you can but they don't want to do that because they would have to stop being skanky and most of them enjoy in their heart and in their mind second being skanky see when you're a business person you can't you can't be skanky no you got to put that aside because you can get sued see? oh yeah and see that so they then they figured that we supposed to take care of them see they was hoping that we would think oh man hold them out of work because nonsense jobs a lot of them still are not open some of them are open but they didn't cut their hours and then some of them open but close and never open back up again man it's time to get them and get us a woman and have her at home mm -mm 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 most of them a lot of them are very attractive looking on the outside, but their insides are so rotten that their outer beauty, and I never thought I would live to say this, but I'm so shocked, but I'm saying it anyway, their outer beauty doesn't mean shit. It doesn't. It doesn't. I, I never thought that that would ever happen, but to me, it didn't happen. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still look, you know, when they're not looking. But other than getting involved with them, oh, no, no, no. What's that hit song by Destiny's Child? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Remember that commercial? Sorry, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> okay, well, I got a new one for you. <laughs> sorry, Sharon. <laughs> sorry, Jackie. <laughs> sorry, Becky. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Charlene. <laughs> yeah, because it's gotten to the point now where most of them have the doo doo touch. So, put the comments in the comment section. I want to know are you experiencing the same thing that I'm experiencing? Please put it in the comment section. I want to know. Don't you go anywhere. How? Get down.